on YouTube, they tend to be like the idealized idea of their morning routine with their schedule. A lot of YouTubers don't have like nine to five jobs that they need to be, which means that their morning routine are not realistic for the majority of people who have nine to five jobs. But I want to give out some tips and tricks for people who don't have a lot of time in the morning to do little changes in order to make their morning more enjoyable. Okay, so let's get to the first tip. The first thing that I know a lot of people say on YouTube starts in the evening, like before going to bed. And it's to try to plan your bedtime according to when you want to wake up and according to your sleep schedule. So like not everyone needs to have completely eight hours of sleep. Okay, also not everyone needs five hours of sleep. So figure out what your body needs and try to go to bed at the time that will make you have the required amount of hours for you of sleep. Now on the same note, something I've realized that really makes things a lot better for sleep and waking up in the morning is having a routine. Now I don't say to never go out and stay late, like I do stay late. But my body is really used to going to bed around 10 and waking up around 6. Do I always follow that routine? No. Sometimes I go to bed at 12, at 1, on those occasions when there's a party and I want to stay late. However, I tried most of the time to keep that routine. Because if some night you go to sleep at 9, then you go to sleep at 10, you go to sleep at 9.30, your body is always confused. So having a night routine will help you a lot, feeling energized and wake up in the morning. Okay, so now you've gone to bed to the appropriate hour, depending to you, you've woke up. What are the things that you can do in the morning to make your morning better and more custom to you? So one of the thing that I feel like with experience is working for me is getting some sunlight opening the blinds, opening the curtains, and for the time of winter when I don't see the sun in the morning, it's either um, using sunlight or taking vitamin D. Then the next thing is breakfast. Now I know breakfast is not for everyone. Not everyone has breakfast or needs breakfast, but for those who likes having a breakfast, it's about finding a food, a breakfast that works for you. Now everyone has different requirements. Everyone has like different needs on what they need to eat or how fast it needs to be. Like you have the overnight oats. That's something you could just take out of the fridge and it's already ready. Some people have more time, they can prepare breakfast. So I want you to think about what you need and also what your body needs. Not everyone like needs the same thing. Like my boyfriend can have peanut butter toast and be able to feel great after and it will last him until lunch. Well, if I eat that, well, the peanut butter for me is too fatty and for some reason it doesn't make me feel good. So I usually go for oats that I make the morning and I put fruits and nuts in it. So if you're concerned, if eating is something that you have trouble with, seek a professional and try to find what works for you. And I've seen a nutritionist in the past and she has helped me figure out food that helps me feel better and also keeps me full until lunch because that's something I had trouble with. Like another twist that I've tried is putting peanut butter in my smoothie. It has the fat in it so that it helps you last longer and not be hungry too late, too early. Then it's about taking time because yes, sometimes we can be in a hurry but feeling like you're in a hurry and doing this race every morning kind of starts you off with this super busy mindset or this super rushed mindset. One thing I've started doing that really has helped me be more calm in the morning is eating at home. Like what I used to do is try to rush and try to get to work as fast as possible and eat at work while I'm kind of working and checking my emails. But I've realized that taking the time of eating at home in silence, in my pajamas or not, or already closed, really helped me be calm. Making sure that you have enough time either to prepare yourself, have that silence moment in the shower maybe, or meditate even. I keep 
saying I want to do it, but I never do. Now, it's super easy for me to say find yourself time, but like there's 24 hours in a day. You can't like create time or more time. One trick that I've been doing that's worked well for me is setting my alarm earlier than I need so that I'm able to snooze two or three times. I know snoozing is not the best, but I like it. So like, I can't be perfect and I'm not going to be the perfect person. And you shouldn't feel like you need to be that perfect uh, person who has the perfect morning routine. So I snooze, but since my alarm is earlier, I tend to snooze until I really need to wake up and then I can start my routine without feeling rushed. And the last thing is simplifying those routine or those little part of the morning that kind of stresses you or gives you more pressure or is a little too complicated, um, like clothes, eating, getting ready routine. One thing that I've been loving is I don't have like that minimalistic capsule wardrobe, but all my pieces fits together. And how I do that, it's the black t-shirt thing where I have a lot and a lot of black t-shirts. I'm basically like black and gray, and this is like a white beige. So everything kind of fits together. It's something that makes the morning a lot easier. As well, I have like two or three options for eating in the morning. And it's basically like the winter food and the summer food because I like smoothies, but when it's cold outside, I don't want to be drinking something cold. So it's like oats in the winter and smoothies in the summer, which can be for some people not uh, fun to be eating the same thing in the morning. However, um, find something that works for you. You can have like a, a rotation. Like you can rotate between three, four breakfasts, but having to figure out something to eat every morning can take some time and some stress. I hope this helped you or inspired you to try to adjust some things in the morning. Now the big takeaway is like, you don't need to have that perfect morning routine like you see on YouTube, like things are not perfect. I'm not perfect. Life is about improvisation in some way. So like, Take it slow, one step at a time, and change your morning routine one step at a time as well. Changing your whole morning routine overnight can be stressful. Take your time. If there's anything, like how do you get ready in the morning? Is there anything you think is important to share or tell me? Like, how's your morning routine? Is there any tips that could be helpful for other people? Now tell me in the comments below. I hope you're having a wonderful day and see you in the next video. Bye!